Hello my soccer universe and welcome to my analysis reaction whatever to the Champions League draw. Uh, just beforehand I need to say I think overall we have a beautiful draw. Uh, in the sense that all the four big teams that you know the ones that played last week came through last week they have been separated from the other teams so in that sense it's matching up and the only one where you could have a contention is Chelsea or Real Madrid better? Wait, 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 wait. They play against each other to decide that one. In that sense, this is an absolutely beautiful draw. I cannot uh, be more happy with that. Now, um, the one thing maybe is that uh, in the final draw, and we'll talk about is that the two matchups that have the biggest uh, gap between the teams those are in one semi-final, so um, yeah, maybe this could have been done better, but other than that, it's uh, pretty, pretty sweet. And I think if you're an Atletico Madrid fan living in Manchester, I think you're also not uh, quite unhappy because, uh, again, your team is coming to town, although this time it will be a stiffer challenge. So let's look at the uh, matchups where we have the first one drawn out was Chelsea against Real Madrid. I mean, that's the marquee matchup there. Uh, this is recent European power against traditional European power. So, uh, and also a replay of last year's semi-final. At this uh, stage, it is really hard, 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 hard to predict who is the uh, favorite in that one. Uh, even my model, 51% uh, Chelsea. So it's rather, rather a toss-up. And for that, I think this is a beautiful, this is absolutely uh, beautifully drawn in many, many ways. Next up was another Madrid team having go to go to England is Manchester City against Atletico Madrid. Um, also, an interesting, I mean, Atletico Madrid uh, should be no match for Manchester City, to be honest. Uh, but, you know, you had the good uh, memories from Manchester of beating uh, United. So, I guess with a little bit of typically Atletico Madrid uh, time wasting and dark arts, maybe there is a chance in there. I gotta say. Then we had Villarreal uh, drawn out and I actually thought, yeah, this will be against Liverpool because, you know, it would just make sense with the third uh, England-Spain duel. No, it was Bayern Munich. I think Bayern Munich will not be unhappy and at that point I think also Benfica and Liverpool was clear. Uh, so I think those two big ones were also uh, not unhappy. A little bit of me wanted that Villarreal play against Benfica. Uh, at first thought, but then uh, if I think about it, I think it's it's much better. The competition will be much better uh, if we have all the favorites separated. So it makes for a very, very balanced draw. Yes, an underdog story of either Villarreal or Benfica making it to the semifinals would be absolutely amazing. However, you would always have in the back of, of your mind, nah, but... Uh, they got an easy draw, but then, okay, Villarreal ousted Juventus, Benfica ousted Ajax, so um, I guess uh, one could just justify them seeing the semifinals. Well, I mean, at that point, it doesn't re really matter, but if I just look from uh, the favorites, I find uh, all these ties were rather beautifully drawn. Now, uh, the only thing, as I said already, uh, we have that the first two play against each other and the, the, the latter two play against each other. So we have Manchester, uh, we have uh, on the upper part of the branch, we have Benfica against Liverpool, uh, who will face Villarreal against Bayern, and whoever goes out there, uh, come, come, comes out there, will also be the uh, home team in the final. Uh, it's also in interesting, it's three red teams against one yellow. So um, I actually would say we have one red team in the in, in final. And I have to say, uh, if it really was Bayern against Liverpool in the semi-final, I mean, what a semi-final that would be, to be honest. Uh, and then um, we have <laughs> either Madrid Derby, which is the outside chance, or uh, Manchester City against Chelsea is, of course, another uh, opportunity, or Manchester City against Real Madrid, you know, also um, kind of an interesting duel right there. So I, I actually find it overall a rather, rather balanced and well uh, done, this draw, and I'm quite happy with that one. Um, before I give you the faith that the fairies, I actually want to say, it's again without the away goals rule. Um, my, I want to have a quick thought on that. I think what the away goals rule uh, established is 
Uh, with the away goals rules, it was always the first leg that was a little bit more defensive. I think now we are going to into it with uh, the second leg, a bit, a bit more defensive, which I'm not sure is the right thing. But, you know, on the other side, the one thing that's a positive is that matches stay a little bit uh, competitive longer because a goal, you know you have to make up usually a goal less if the away goals come at the end. But... Be it as it may, I give you the favorites at, at the moment. I mean, with Liverpool having a almost 74% chance of winning against Benfica. I mean, Liverpool going to Portugal, it's usually a route. Although the way Benfica can uh, dig in defensively, it might be in injury. But I think with Liverpool is too much to handle for Benfica at this very, very moment. Um, then ahead of Bayern Munich. So I those two, I mean, Liverpool has a 25% chance of winning. Bayern Munich at 22% chance of winning and Bayern Munich is favored over VRL with 65%. So clear fav favorites there. Uh, actually, a bigger favorite is Manchester City over Atletico Madrid with 66%. Um, slightly but Manchester City has then to go to Real Madrid Chelsea that's why suddenly Manchester City drops to 12.7 percent only of winning it uh, which is a pretty big one I must must say then um, it is of course Chelsea ahead of slightly ahead of Real Madrid as I said those two are very evenly matched and via Real Atletico Madrid Benfica is how it is uh, looking at the moment as I said, uh, that draw, unlike the Europa League draws, which we'll talk in the next uh, VAV video, I thought was beautifully balanced. I actually couldn't have wished for a better draw. Uh, if I look at the, what, would, I mean, seeding would not have uh, accomplished as nice of a draw, I'm pretty sure. So I have to say, uh, we will get two pretty competitive semifinals. I'm absolutely certain so, so about that. And of course, my final Champions League any, anyway, but... Um, we definitely have we're postponing the meeting of the favorites. Also, that Liverpool and Manchester City were kept apart. Well, part of me wanted them to meet already in the quarter, quarter, uh, quarter final. Um, I do think that those two are the best teams at the moment. And a potential final between those two, uh, that would be mouthwatering, I gotta say. Although I, I really, uh, the other part of me, of course, wishes that we don't get an all English final again. So yeah, we'll see. In any case, uh, please let me know your thoughts on the draw. The, the one thought that I have, and but this is not on the draw itself, although a teeny bit, uh, is that I think it is time that I get for one or two teams in their uh, second jersey. I'm especially looking at Bayern Munich uh, because once we go to the semi-final stage, I'm not as well equipped <laughs> as I was, for instance, last year where I could all four teams make a background up. This season, uh, it might be a little bit harder, but you know, let's see how it will go. In any case, let me know your thoughts on, on, on the draw. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel and see more. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to the channel and click the little bell icon so that you can update it whenever anything happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day.